Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. So this is going to be the second video in the MCP playlist, Model Context Protocol. In the first video of this playlist, the previous one, we discussed about MCP in, in theory. So we saw theoretically what is MCP, you know, uh, what does MCP client, what does MCP servers, etc. mean, and also the benefits, the architectures, and why do we need it, right? Now, in this video, the second video of this playlist, we're going to look at how we can build our own MCP server, the first MCP server, and use that through an MCP client, right? And that MCP client is going to be nothing but Anthropic Cloud Desktop. That's what we're going to do. So let's jump in and see what we can do here. So if you look at here on my screen, I am on, of course, my VS Code, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, first thing that you need, you need uh, this Anthropic Cloud. If you don't have, you can uh, you can find it out. Let me first. It has been running for a while. I'll just end this task now. Uh, what you need is you need Anthropic Cloud Desktop. So just come here and just write Cloud Desktop. Now, once you click on that, you go to Download, and in the Download, you can download it. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything. You see Windows, Windows, and Mac OS right now. It's not available on Linux machine. The Linux distros. I don't know why, but you know you can use it on Windows and Mac OS. As far as my understanding, looking at this, so I am on Windows. I already have Cloud for desktop, so I'm not going to install it. You should install that. Now the next thing is, once you install it, you should first launch that. But before that, you need something. It's better to use UV guys. Now I'll show why you should use UV uh, now because uh, I think I have been struggling with pip nowadays. It takes a lot of time to install dependencies. Now UV is uh, an extremely fast Python package and project manager written in Rust. So you can imagine if it's written in Rust, how fast it will be right now. Uh, it's also better than poetry in my view. So I use UV you know, uh, for, for this entire playlist. I'll be using UV and it's really faster you can do a lot of things like almost everything you can see it says a single tool to replace pip pip tools pipax poetry pi and v twine virtually and b blah 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 and whatever right now it's by astra sh uh, astral sh my bad you can see and you should install it pretty simple to install if you are on you can follow follow this installation process uh you can do it through pip as well you can see just better to use this PowerShell command if you are on Windows and it should add that in the path as well. If it's not adding it, go and add this, uh, the, the location in the path, but it will add it if you're on Windows, on Mac OS and Linux, you have to do this. Now you can also do it through pip, so you can also use this. I hope you have UV installed in your system. If you don't have UV installed, that is also completely fine. You can again work with pip as well. That's completely okay. Now, so what you have to do you have to first, of course, you're going to write this weather.py file. That is completely fine. Uh, we have a tool. So we're going to create a tool that uh, I'm going to give you a walkthrough okay, of this file and how you can make this available on Anthropic uh, Cloud Desktop or Cloud for Desktop tool, which is an MCP client in this case. Now, okay, let me just get rid of VNV here. Okay, If you're using UV, you will find out this pyproject.2ml. These are the dependencies which are required. So you can see HTTPX and MCP CLI. Now MCP CLI is nothing but the library. You can see model context protocol at the Python SDK. It's by Anthropic. You can see, uh, you can read more on their documentation over here. You can read the documentation. You can see MCP is an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to LLMs. I was, seeing, I was telling you in the previous video, think of MCP like a USB-C port for AI application, just like connects. You know. USB-C provides a standardized way to connect your devices to various peripherals and accessories and blah, blah, blah. And this is the architecture we, we went through and whatnot, right? So this is what you need. This is the GitHub repository. You can just go through it. But yeah, you just have to come here. Now, when you come, let me just clean this up. What you have to do, you have to create, uh, or you can just do, UV in it as well, or you can just do better to just create a, a folder. And let's say I create, okay, uh, let's say weather or something. And right, and once you create into it, you just do CD inside it. And once you do CD, you just do UV VENV. We're going to create a virtual environment. And once you do the virtual environment, you're going to activate that through CD VENV and scripts. And then you're just going to do dot slash uh, activate if you're on 
power cell if you are on linux distro you can do source activate uh, whatever okay but you have to go to bin not into scripts now once you do all of those things you're just gonna do uv add and you're gonna add httpx and uh you can just do mcp and cli and stuff like that right or you can also do uv pip install hyphen r requirements txt by creating a requirements txt now once all of those things are done you're gonna open this in vs code you can see i already have opened this in vs code here and forget about whether or pi for now we're gonna talk about this in a little bit uh but before that let me show you the real thing that we have to do here which is very important go to cloud now in this cloud we have to configure the config file okay where we're going to define the uh the uh, mcp servers right so you have to click on file and in the file you can find out something called settings on top and come to developer now within this developer you can find out the whether it's running the command and the arguments click on edit config you will not see anything if you don't have any uh, model context protocol like servers any specialized servers this will be blank it will only show you edit config now when you click on edit config it will take you to where you have your cloud thingy you have to click on this cloud desktop config let me open this in vs code i'm gonna open this with vs code we'll, we'll also gonna work with windsurf in the next click like, in next couple of videos but let me first open vs code here now if you look at one look at here this is how you define an mcp server so you see mcp servers and in in upcoming videos will automatically generate it uh using some tools you can see it, it has an mcp servers and within mcp servers we have our name which is called weather look at here weather.py and then we have a command now this command is nothing but where you have up to this if you talk about up to bin this is the path of your uv where you have installed right in your uh, uh local disk c or wherever on your system right so this should be that and then you add uv to make sure that this is the command for uv to run it and in this argument we pass directory the the path of the project and the run and the file name so if you look at here i'm passing some arguments hyphen hyphen directory this is where the directory is you can see this is my directory of uh this project called weather you can see that you just have to end till weather and then in run you have that weather.py you just save this of course i'll give this in uh, on through github repository so you can just copy paste but you just uh, take this weather.py now in after that we're going to create okay you just save it and once you save it we're just going to create this simple weather.py you can create anything you can also have a calculation uh, server like you can calculate mathematic functions i mean they don't need it. llms are smart enough but if you need something right just saying now here what we are doing we are using mcp cli so mcp server fast mcp you can see this fast mcp server we initialize this uh the weather and this is what we have defined right in that config if you remember that that we just uh, saved i'm using nws api to get weather from the us states so i'm using the user agent these are constants and have a request you can see the pretty standard uh, requesting through https so I'm using, of course, you have to use await to make sure that you know it might take some time. Uh, we have some formatting over here, define format alert, you can see. And then pretty simple, guys. We have get alerts, and, and this is how you define the tool. You can see at mcp dot tool, it's like a decorator. So you can see mcp dot tool. We are using this tool function over here. Now in this, I have a class called a, a function called get alerts. You can see we are passing the state name. So one for the get alert, it takes the name of the state like CA, NY, uh, whatever it is, uh, Texas, TA, whatever, whatever the first two uh, state code in the United States. And then next we have one more tool. You can see it says get forecast. Now in this get forecast, we have this thingy where you can pass a uh, uh, weather forecast for a location, uh, latitude of the location, longitude of the location. You can see it over here, points, data first get the forecast and very simple i got this from their documentation you know you can go to uh, rapid api and you can use any free apis to kind of build these kind of tools that's what i did so very simple weather.py and once you have that we have to come here and then we have to do uv run weather.py so we have to run this application uh, this program right now i'm doing uv run weather.py so i'll just uh, close this 
uh, I'll just okay. I'll again close this. Let me just restart Claude. If it's sometimes it might takes little time to restart. Always end task from task manager and then restart it. And I have seen some problems sometimes. But now if I go to Claude, now come here. In the previous video, I shown you that how you can you know uh, how it was working in the introduction video. Now if you have set up the config. You know, in the through edit config.json file, and also if you have a file, you can see it, it for me it shows here two MCP available MCP tools. If you are getting errors, mostly you will get error for path, the path that we are setting for UV and path we are setting for uh, uh, the project folder. Just for your information, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to find out the path for UV, if you are on Mac machine, you can say which UV. That's not going to work in this. And if you are on Windows, you can just say where UV. It will give you the path if you don't know the path. So you can just do that. Now you can just copy and paste it. So here you can see I have two MCP tools available, available MCP tools, get alerts and get forecast. That's what I have over here, right? So let me just come. And here I'm going to write, for example, how does the weather looks like in, let's say, Chicago. I asked for Chicago, as you can see in the previous video. You know here and if it's not working for you it's fine you can still you know like to debug it you can see it says i'm gonna allow for this chat you can see it it, it figured out the latitude and longitude for me it says running gate forecast from weather local you can see it gave me such a nice answer it says i can help you get the current weather for chicago let me check the forecast for you it uses this tool uh, this is the server that we have built and this is the client which is using that server now this server connects with a external db right that's what it does so external database which through an API, which is a weather API. That's why I've shown you in the previous video, the architecture, a client and a server, and that server basically connects with on internet, external, and fetches some information. So that's how it's working, client server architecture. Now here, it says the weather in Chicago today looks quite pleasant. Uh, this afternoon, 44 degree Fahrenheit with sunny skies, light northeast wind, 5 to 10 MPH tonight. Mostly clear with temperature dropping to 36 degree Fahrenheit, blah, blah, blah. Looking ahead, Thursday, it gives you for Thursday also. 44 degree Thursday night, Friday also it gives forecast, guys. It's clear, cool day in Chicago right now, but temperature will warm up considerably by Friday. This is amazing. So you could see how simply you can just, you know, create a project folder. You can define weather.py or build multiple you know, servers. This is a simple example and expose that through an MCP client, which is in this case, which is nothing but Claude desktop. But make sure you have go here in the file in settings and then you have this developer, you have edit config. So make sure if you if you if you haven't done that, you do this and give all the path correctly by doing where UV or which UV, depending on what kind of system you are using, and then it'll be set. You'll be able to work with this. This is a very simple example. I wanted to create in this video or like in 10, 12 minutes, how can you set it up your own first uh, MCP server on an MCP client, right? Now, I hope you understood it, guys. I'll give this code so you can just replicate it. Uh, of course, it's for like I just got the code from internet. It's not like not, of course, my, I, the code that I have written it like from somewhere, but that's completely fine. You know, you should get the, you should get the basics behind it. You should know the fundamentals. So let me know if you have any question, thoughts or feedback in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. Uh, in the next video, we're going to create more MCP servers. I'm going to introduce you some MCP installer where you don't have to like even do such config. You can just come on the cloud and it will automatically create it for you. So you're going to do those kind of stuff in next video. So please wait for it and like and subscribe, guys. Like the video and subscribe the channel. Uh, please share this video and channel with your friends and to peer. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one, guys.